Hey, what's good everyone? It's Ruby and we are back. Today, I have something pretty fantastic to show you because, you know, some people out there like myself are making the conversion from consoles over to PC with Minecraft and also you want to take your worlds with you, am I right? You want to make sure they all transfer over beautifully and tell you what, there's an amazing resource out there and it's called Chunker and it's actually like basically sponsored by Mojang and Minecraft and it's fantastic. I've been using it to transfer my worlds on over to Java Edition and also vice versa, Java back to Bedrock so I can play all sorts of crazy maps mods and all sorts of things on different versions and it's been a grand old time the thing even has an advanced function i'm going to show you how to use it all today please if you like the video smash that like that sub and also comment down below what you'd like to see next thanks for watching and i'll catch you after the intro Welcome back everyone. I know you're as excited as I am to get those worlds from your Xbox on your PC and running in your Java edition. So let's dive right into it. And to pull this whole process off, you're going to need a generic flash drive and a couple of apps, which you can download free trials of if you don't feel like buying them. To start things out, please click into the Microsoft store and search for the app named in My Files Explorer. Once you do find this app here, feel free to install it by using the free trial option because we won't actually need this app in the long run and for today's process. We only need it to access the app called Expansion for Explorers, which is only downloadable by first opening My Files Explorer. And after My Files Explorer is installed, please open it up so this pop-up can appear and you can press the button that says Install from Store. This will bring you into the secret Microsoft Store page for the game app called Expansion for Explorers. Buy or install the free trial so you can follow all of today's steps and snag all the Minecraft worlds before your trial runs out. Anyways, once the app is finally downloaded, please proceed to pull out your trusty, dusty flash drive. Plug it into your Xbox and check your notifications to make sure your Xbox recognized your device. If you have never actually connected your flash drive to an Xbox or another device before, your Xbox may ask you if you'd like to format it to the Xbox, and you're going to want to go ahead and agree to this. Then you should be able to use the flash drive with your Xbox and transfer your Minecraft worlds from your Xbox to your flash drive using your Expansion for Explorers app. Now that you have your flash drive plugged in and formatted to your Xbox, let's go ahead and open up your Expansions for Explorers app. If you have your flash drive properly formatted and your notifications let you know it properly connected, you should see something called removable disk D or potentially another letter if you already have another external hard drive connected to your Xbox. Anyways, this is where we're going to go ahead and paste our copied Minecraft world files so we can then take them over to our PC and follow the rest of today's steps. As you can see, I already have some worlds and other things stored in here from me already moving some worlds over to my PC and Java Edition because I have some top secret fun stuff planned to be released to you all sometime this year in 2024. Can't wait to show you what I have in store for you. However, enough on that, in order to find and copy your worlds over to your removable disk, we'll need to hover our cursor over the packages folder on the left hand side of this screen and click into it using the A button on your controller. Once inside, we need to track down a folder starting with the name Microsoft.Minecraft UWP Council underscore and then with a bunch of numbers and letters following it. Once found, press on it and load the list of folders inside. The folder of interest in here is local state, click into that one and then the games folder following that. This will take you to the com.mojang folder which again simply just click into that and here you should now finally see a list of folders but most importantly for this video the minecraft worlds folder. Hover your cursor over this folder and once again click into it. This will bring you inside the full list of xbox minecraft worlds that you have worked on or created including modded ones as well. Now go ahead and find the world that we're going to be interested in converting to Java Edition. Hover your cursor over it, press your Xbox controller start button, which is the small button that has the three lines on it. This will bring up a list of options to choose from. Please choose the copy option. This will save your worlds folder to your clipboard and now you'll be able to paste it into your removable disk or flash drive. 
To do this, you either press B until you return back to the expansion folder, or you can simply hover your cursor over the folder on the left hand side labeled Removable Disk D. Here, hover your cursor over the open area of the app, and then press the Xbox controller start button, and this time I want you to press on the paste option from the list of provided options. This will start loading and copying all the contents of your world's files and your flash drive storage, depending on how big your map is or how many resource packs you have on it. This may take a bit to copy everything over, so sit tight patiently or go grab a snack or drink or something to distract you for a second while this whole thing loads. Once all the files upload, this little pop-up screen should disappear and you should now see a copied folder inside your flash drive storage and viewable using your expansion for explorers app. Again, if you want to do more than one world right now, resource pack, behavior pack, or whatever, you might want to go ahead and just copy them all over to your flash drive now, so you can then follow the rest of today's steps using every last one of your maps. So you can bring them all over to your Java edition all at once. How exciting is that? Anyways, let's now hop on over to our PC and simply unplug our flash drive from our Xbox. And then plug it into your PC wherever you have an available port for it. I'll be using my custom CyberPower PC for today's example, which is what I game on about 95% of the time. It's going to come in handy for all the epic series I have planned and the rest of today's video steps. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Anyways, to finish the rest of those steps, we are going to have to go ahead and search for the online app named Chunker and enter into its site. Then we'll need to pull up our file explorer app on our PC and click into the flash drives files that you just plugged in. Here I suggest having the Chunker app up on the side of your screen and then also have your File Explorer app on the other side of the screen. So you can easily click and drag your world's folders over to the part of the Chunker that is labeled Drag Your World Folders here and then drop your folder inside that spot. This will start uploading and preparing your world's files to be converted to Java Edition and any version of your desire. Once it finishes this step, you'll have to press on the option that says Upload World and after the option lights up green, this will begin another upload process which shouldn't take much longer than a couple of minutes. And once completed, the app will bring you to the screen where you'll need to select what version and what update of Minecraft you'd like to convert this world into. If you didn't know, on PC and Minecraft Java Edition, you can use Minecraft clients like CurseForge to lock your worlds into certain versions and then play those worlds in those versions indefinitely. It's one of the many reasons many experienced Minecrafters eventually makes the switch or jump to PC and then ultimately Java Edition, mostly because of its vast amounts of modding capabilities and flexibility to boot. For today's example, we're going to go ahead and use the most recent Java update available at the time of recording this, so we can go ahead and just follow the normal process and use it with your Java Edition right now. At the time I'm making this video, it's Java 1.20.3, but it'll probably be like 0.5 or something by the time you check this out and get it uploaded. Click on this option, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the screen, and then select on Advanced Options. This will offer the most flexibility when converting worlds over to Java or between editions themselves on PC. When pressing on Advanced Options, it'll quickly load and bring you into the World Preview screen, which I find super cool. Here the app offers all sorts of settings, tools, and capabilities to convert worlds from one update to another and then one version to another as well, and honestly much more. World settings, game rules, restrictions, weathers, uh, and other miscellaneous settings, which actually includes the ability of changing a world into a hardcore world as well. I mean, how cool is that guys? It's, it's so cool. Another epic and really useful tool available on here is the ability to convert blocks from your old world to a different block in your newly converted world. This means you can take an old corrupted and modded world with broken blocks and convert those blocks to something that isn't broken. For example, let's say you had a special modded brick you built a bunch of houses inside your old world, but that modded brick won't convert over into your Java edition map necessarily. What you can do is turn that modded brick into a normal brick or deep slate tile using the block mapping feature depending on what version you're converting your map into. And this includes like any other block. But for today's example, again, we'll be using version Minecraft Java edition 1.20.3. We're not going to do any of the extra stuff right now. 
However, the last setting of importance is the conversion settings. And at the bottom here, I want you to go ahead and select the identifier, a validation, and then keep that on. Now that we have all of our settings turned on, blocks of interest converted if you did that, and any other features activated, we're gonna go ahead and convert our world and download our new converted world to Minecraft Java Edition. To do this, press on the green button labeled Convert. This will again bring up a loading screen and begin the conversion process. Upon completion, a new green button will become available labeled Download, which will finally allow us to download our converted world. Please proceed to click on the button download. This should then prompt the download and go to your downloads of your PC or browser you're using. And uh, for me, I click on the downloads of my browser and then click on the folder source to then show me where it's downloaded to. This will pull up a file explorer window so I can copy and paste the converted world.zip into my Minecraft saves on my Java edition. To do this, open up your Minecraft launcher and then let it load all the way up. Hover your cursor over the installation tab and then go to the installation that says latest release. Go to the right. There are a few more buttons, including one that looks like a folder. Click on this. It will bring up a file explorer window showing you where the files for that Java Minecraft installation are located. Since Java Edition just likes to be different, its world's folders are actually called saves and not Minecraft worlds. Click into the folder labeled saves, and this is where we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste our newly converted worlds.zip file. Go ahead and right click on your .zip file in your downloads, click on the copy option, and then paste it into the saves folder of your latest Minecraft installation. Luckily, you will need to extract your .zip folder inside the saves folder, and to do this, you can simply right click on the .zip file and select the extract files option, or if you're cool like me and you have the WinRAR, which is free. You can actually use it to extract, install, compress files, and just about anything else you can think of. Anyways, once the world's folder is finally extracted out, we can delete the old .zip because we simply just don't need it anymore. However, my friends, let's go ahead and start up the Minecraft Java Edition and see if we can find our newly converted world inside our Minecraft saves. Just like normal, you should now be able to start up your Minecraft Java Edition's latest installation or update let it load up fully, press play, and locate your newly converted world. And sure enough, there it is. How awesome is that? This is a subscriber world I came out with a while back when we hit 1,000 subscribers on the channel. We've come a long way since then and don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to make this available for download for anyone who plays on Java Edition at this time. I'd love to see the photos of you making your own builds here and around the village. Anyways, I think that's about all the time I have available for you in today's video. But tell you what, I had a great fucking time making it. If you had a great fucking time watching it, then please do me the greatest fucking honor and pick X that like and sub button down below. As always, I really appreciate it. Really helps me out on YouTube and means the absolute fucking world to me. Please always feel free to comment your questions down below and please always remember that you are truly beautiful and never let anyone else convince you otherwise. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out for now.